children to learn math through play. And for the games today, I'm going to be using some cute little bears and chairs. But you don't have to use bears and chairs. You can use anything that you have at home or especially toys that your children like. For example, little cars. Or even if you're playing outside, you can use rocks or shells. The first game is called Same or Different. Hold up a bear for your child and ask them to give you something that is the same. Now they might give you a similar bear, but then you can explore together and investigate what's the same and what's different about the two things that they gave you. So they're similar in shape, but they're different in color. Now the same activity can also be done by chairs, discussing the two colors, but they're both the same shape. But if you look closely, and if you grow their investigative process, you can see that the backs of the chair are different. Explore together other things that are same and different. The second activity that we're going to do is a matching activity. So set out the same number of chairs as you have bears and ask your child to match each bear to a chair. And see if they can match each bear to a similar color or to a different color. The second thing you can do is try to match bears together and chairs separately. Now you don't have to use these chairs, you can also print out your own copy of a chair and laminate it. Another way to do matching is to take away one of the chairs and then ask them to match each bear to a chair. See what your child does with the remaining bear. They might request an additional chair, or they might give you the additional bear back to you. The third activity that we're going to play is a sorting activity. So for this, you need a group of bears, a group of chairs, and two cards that are laminated, one with a red bear and one with a blue bear. And these cards help your children learn about sorting concept and then as they develop the skill of sorting, you can remove these cards and do the sorting without them. So first we're going to ask them to sort all of the red bears on the red card and all of the blue bears on the blue card. Once they've mastered that, you can move on to something else so you can sort by color. So you can sort all of the blue things separately and you can sort all of the red separately. Once they've mastered that, you can now sort at two levels. So by shape and by color. So for example, sorting all of the blue and then sorting the shapes, the chairs and the bears separately. And then sorting all of the red and sorting the chairs and the bears separately. The fourth activity that you can do with your children is comparing. Now these concepts need to be developed throughout the day. For example, you could read lots of books about concepts that show you big, small, narrow, or wide, and then you can bring those concepts into activities like these. Now for these, you'll need bears of three different shapes or sizes. There's a large bear, a medium bear, and a small bear. So you can practice with your children the concepts of big, medium, and small, or short, taller, and tallest. Now another thing you can compare is compare in numbers. For example, are these less or more than this number of bears that are available? Are these chairs enough to hold all of the bears that want to sit in them? Use different concepts to practice comparing. The fifth activity that you can do with your children is ordering. Now for this, you need a group of bears and chairs and start putting them in an order. So for example, a green bear, a yellow bear, a green bear, and then see if your child can figure out what goes next. So next is the yellow bear. And then practice counting in the order. So first, second, third, and fourth. And set up the chairs in a similar fashion and ask your children to put the first bear on the first chair or the last bear on the second chair. Practice ordering with your children. 
The sixth activity that you can do with your children is counting. For this activity, you'll need a group of bears and a group of chairs and practice counting with your children. It's usual that as children develop the skill of counting, it first starts out as road counting because they learn it like a song, one, two, three, four, five, six. But then as they progress, you need to practice one-to-one -one counting. So for that, you can actually touch each bear as you count. So one, two, three, so that they develop the concept of the number. As you move on and you can make it more difficult, practice taking a group of chairs and ask them if they're enough for the group of bears. Ask them to make a group of two chairs and see if they can do that. Practice counting with your children. The cute little bears and chairs that I was using today are from a company called Developmental Math and it's called Bears and Chairs. For more activities for learning math and play, you can look at the Smart Start book or the Smart Start Home Educational Program available from Arabian Child. Thank you.